Detective Alex Murphy and Officer Down. It was a cult classic of the 1980s, and now 27 years after the original was released, RoboCop has been brought back to the big screen. Give your mom a kiss. My baby. Too slow, boy. It tells the story of policeman Alex Murphy, who is critically injured in a car bomb. He then has some of his body parts replaced with machinery by a corporation who want to use him for law enforcement. And Joel Kinnaman, who plays the lead, said some of the scenes were quite challenging. It was the scene where, where it's revealed to Alex what's left of him. Um, that, that, was a, that was a difficult scene to shoot. It was such a emotionally demanding scene, you know, complete existential anxiety and there was somebody like jerking with my head and actually tying my head with copper wire into this big device behind me and and then you know we'd shoot and so it, it, was, it was quite difficult. Despite being a big action blockbuster Gary Oldman who plays the scientist who creates Robocop says there's a lot more to it. It is a sort of political movie disguised as an action movie because we have the debate of you know, the sort of security versus liberty, um, freedom of choice, uh, the debate of drones and robots, and uh, it, it's sort of all, they're very topical, they're very current. Abby Cornish plays policeman Murphy's wife, who gives her consent for her husband to be transformed into Robocop. And although her character had to deal with a lot of tragedy, it was a part she loved. And I enjoyed stepping into the shoes of Clara Murphy. I enjoyed her strength and I enjoyed her devotion to her man. I enjoyed the love of her child. You know, and I enjoyed that that came from here, that it didn't come from here. This is private property. The film relies heavily on CGI and special effects, but Joel said he didn't have to just rely on his imagination. A lot of stunt guys that were in these jumpsuits with all these like X's and Y's on them that the then the computer guys do their animation around. So I actually had a lot of real moving things to, to um, shoot at. And it seems that was much better than what he's used in previous films. I've actually run from aliens that were tennis balls on tripods and in another very, very bad movie um, that nobody should ever see. <laughs>